Johan Blake is coming through. Bolt gets it again. And the time, 19.32. Well, this happens every Olympics, it seems like. Like, I remember in the Beijing Olympics, there was a question on whether the Chinese team, like on the age mm -hmm. of the Chinese women's gymnastics. Yep. To, I mean, uh, yeah, so I believe it was that. And so I think this just comes down to it's like, is this just something that we see every single time? Or is this like a case by case basis that just occurs, unfortunately occurs semi frequently? It, well, how is it compared to doping in baseball? Is it? I think that's a completely different yeah. ball game, pun intended. Yeah. Um, I think the big difference is, is that, at least in the, the Chinese case and the Russian cases, it seems like that they had government cooperation. Mm -hmm. And so they had the resources of an entire government to help them cover this up, you know, like plan through the logistics of it. Whereas in baseball, you know, there were individuals making individual decisions and, and then using their own, granted, like massive monetary resources to try and cover it up. I think, uh, going back to the Olympics being, um, someone can jump in if they want to stay on that specific doping and that sort of thing, but it's really fascinating to me that every single Olympics, like the scandal and doping and some sort of cheating, it seems like every city that gets to host the Olympics, except for I think London in the past like 10 years or 12 years, however many that was, has not really been ready. Like there, there've been, there've been things that they like have, have been lacking, whether it's housing, whether like it's, you know, the facilities are not really ready yet. And I think it's no, it's no secret that the IOC is a bit corrupt. Um, but what, it, like, what is up with that? Cause they have, I mean, it's not like they don't have time to prepare. And we saw that with Boston. Boston didn't want to even submit for the U.S. bid because they saw what it did to other cities, and rightfully so. Well, they also, the <clears throat> Brazil lied about their debt yeah. and like downplayed it a lot so that, I mean, I'm sure there's still corruption, but they painted a picture that was a little bit different than what it is now. Um, and they were like on the rise. They had like poverty plans and all these things that they were getting better at removing the shanty towns without, you know, governmental force. Like they were um, doing well as a city, but now, like the first year after they were announced as, uh, in 2010, when they were announced as the, this next Olympics, their GDP rose like 7% and then kind of went down and now it's like the bottom fell out. Now it's like super low. Um, and they're just getting worse and our poverty is like spreading more. Um, so I think that, yeah, I mean, if you're not actually ready to host an Olympics, it could just ruin your city. I mean, or your, your, um, your country. And now like, what, what would they, what, what can they do? Mm -hmm. Like back out and then, then what? I just think they're stuck. Like mm -hmm. what can they do? And it's not like, I feel like for the most part, they want to get tourism. Yeah. Um, it's, and, well, it's all about money. It really right. is. Yeah, I think this is, it's a huge marketing campaign to get people to come to Brazil, and this is just like the worst case of it backfiring. Well, but the, I, I just have a quick thing. Um, the, past, the only successful Olympics in the past, I think, 100 years were Salt Lake City and Los Angeles, 80, 84. Yes, was. And, and by successful, I mean like I mean, they actually profit. made a profit. Okay. Every, every other one has either broke even or been a little bit like, or been in a deficit. Mm -hmm. And it comes from like, Los Angeles had an advantage because it was, it used essentially the same things that it used in the 1920s when they had the Olympics. And that's part of their bid now for the next, for the 2024 Olympics is we're gonna use a lot of the same stuff, but just update them. Right, which they're is, still using a lot yeah, of the stuff. The Coliseum is <laughs> yeah. one of the oldest football stadiums in, college sports, and that's because of the Olympics in the 1920s. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, Brazil hosted the World Cup a couple years ago, and that was pretty much viewed as a disaster yeah. as well. Um, so forget just the Olympics, like big government bodies in general, like FIFA obviously had their whole bribe problem. There. Qatar it's is super not, Qatar is not beyond a disaster at mm -hmm. this point. People are dying every day. Well, I saw that like the U.S. is like pushing to be like, hey, just give it to us. We're right. basically ready We're to do it already. Ready. Exactly. We've got football yeah. stadiums. Where do they want to do it in the U.S.? 
just all over. Well, that was yeah, the thing is, if it was in the U.S. like in '94, was the yeah, or was the women's '94 World was, Cup? But no, women's was. Or was it the men's World Cup? Women's was '99, I think. The I, I think the men's World Cup was in '94, and they Sounds just right. did it all around. Like they did it at the Rose Bowl. They did it. I think they had one at Foxborough. Yeah, they did. Uh, they did it in New York. Like that's the thing is like there's places. I, and I think that I, I, I guess I understand why like the Olympics or the FIFA would want to do it somewhere else because like, oh, we want to like bring it to new places. Like the U.S. already has like a thriving sports atmosphere. And not to say that others don't, but like, I, I, I kind of see if you take away the corruption, why you would want to do it in a place like Rio or Beijing because it's like you know, things aren't typically there like big sports wise. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I mean. The Olympics and World Cups are supposed to like kind of help save these countries, help mm -hmm. them like make a profit, raise their GDP, like we said. But you know, even in China, they built all these huge stadiums and arenas that they don't even use anymore. Whereas in America, like I I understand not wanting to give the Olympics or the World Cup to America, but it's the most prepared country to build stuff or just update stuff and then keep using it after. But yeah. All these other countries build all these big stadiums and then don't use it anymore, and then everything falls out. We build a new stadium pretty much every year. Yep. There's two major ones I know of that are in production right now. There's LA, and then there's the San Francisco's gonna be done in like this year, right? For the Warriors. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if you were an Olympic athlete, would you go to Rio this year, or would you just say, "Hey, I'll take"? I'll just train for the See, next that's four the thing. years. I know because I know a couple guys uh, who I played volleyball with that have been waiting for this since they were in high school, like and and maybe even middle school. So it's like, and and I'm sure that's true for every single athlete. There is like, whether it's their first one, their last one, or their second one, or whatever, the Olympics is a huge deal. And so to just not go, I think that they're definitely taking those things into account. Of, like there's clearly issues, but. This is like the the biggest thing for some some of these athletes. Like, you know, you see it with with curling. It's like when what other time during the like would someone watch curling other than the Winter Olympics? <laughs> or do you just change the channel? Exactly. <laughs> yeah, and there's always the fact. It, I, I'm sure in those athletes' minds, if they don't go, then there's someone who's willing to. So yeah, and they're lesser than them, so their their pride in their country, mm -hmm. you know, goes down because they might not bring home as many medals. I would go. Yeah, I, I mean, would. I'm, not trying to have, I'm not trying to have kids, so <laughs> that's not really a concern. And, you know, if the, if you fall in a gross body of water, like, yeah, you can get sick, but they'll probably be, probably be bacterial, they'll probably give you some, some uh, antibiotics and you'll be okay. It, it stinks, but I, I, there's no way I would let my dream die over a couple of, you know, moderate concerns like that. So now athletes are saying that they're just going to quarantine themselves. Whatever that means. I mean, I guess that means they're not going to go to the Olympic Village. Yeah, um, or maybe they'll just stay in their hotel room. 